Hello and welcome back to Novelty Hour. One, two, one, two, one, two. And there we go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. When we last left off, we were making hilarious commentary. <laughs> Truly, highest level material. Oh my god. Jeeves. So highbrow. <laughs> <laughs> so highbrow, Tagami himself would be impressed. <laughs> Let's go find him, speaking of which. Truly, there's nothing that Togami could have possibly gotten up to while we were gone. Oh, there's nothing po there's nothing bad that could have possibly happened at Hope Speak. I can't even finish that sentence. Uh, only, go only good things happen here. Only good things. Only. Only. So, you thought to come here too? Yeah, I figured you might have the, thought the, the first floor bathroom uh, was too. So, you thought to come here too? The one other place you could look. If you think about what he was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? What was he so interested in? Well, we'll fig fine. I guess we'll just find out because you're too stupid to remember what happened an hour ago. Well, to be fair, it was an hour ago. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, Makoto. Anyway, while we're busy looking for Togami, um, there is actually a Twitter account that I discovered yesterday called Get Equipped With. I believe it's a mm -hmm. reference to Mega Man 2, because in Mega Man 2, when you get a new Robot Master's ability, it says, mm -hmm. get, it says get Equipped With in the name of the Robot Master ability. This just yeah. takes two randomly generated words and just mashes them together. So you get stuff like, get equipped with important rest. Get equipped with the encyclopedia. Get equipped with worry inside. Get equipped with thick aunt. Shikirigiri's so cool, smart, and seems really tough. She's smart for sure, but uh, tough? Compared to, say, Sakura or even Asahina, she doesn't seem all that different from Shihiro. And then she just peers over the corner like, Did you just call me a fucking Shihiro? Get equipped with hard forever. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think that one's probably my favorite. Get, get equipped with hard forever. Anyway, there's a third floor. But we can't get there because there's metal bars. God damn it, Locke, shut up. <laughs> Again, he's he's playing this with a uh, yayo on. <laughs> yeah. Just like everyone else is just kind of mumbling, but Locke is just like, I got a trunk for my dojins. I'm gonna put him in a trunk. It's hot pink. Oh, this scene is amazing. I wish you could hear it voiced. Oh my god, let's see. Byakuya. Locke is talking all over it, though, just warning. Oh Aw, man. That imagine, this is most definitely wasn't one of... This This is this is most definitely is... Hey, uh, so what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! <laughs> Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? We were all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. We pinky swore. A promise? I'm turning it down. Locke is annoying me. <laughs> Smooth and silent as a shadow. Mm. Sure. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another, after another, after another, after another, after another. Tell your mother, your brother, your sister, and her friends, any other. Yeah. yeah. So this is where you've been hiding. A very obvious location. Not at all out of the way of anything. Huh. Uh. Might have jumped the gun on that one. What the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. <laughs> Can you sense the concern in my voice? <laughs> well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. Riggedy reading. I never read such a coarse novel before. 
But it might just prove useful at some point. Jeeves, help me reenact this. <laughs> <laughs> what were you reading? A mystery novel. Wait, so you're going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? No, you don't. Well, maybe, probably. <laughs> don't be stupid. It's just something to keep in mind. Water. Yeah, yeah what? <laughs> if I decide to find it, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? Yeah. It's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. Well, you're a sociopath. So, if you're going to do it, you just have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> His words sent a chill down my spine. His words sent a chiggity chill down my chig sp spiggity spine. He looked like he was enjoying himself. Like someone who enjoys himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. The fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. You're fucked up. I can't believe I noticed you were such a fuck up. You're fucked in the but head. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It is a zero-sum game. Huh? It is part of game theory and mathematical model. In game theory, and this is Kadaka going to Wikipedia and looking at what game <laughs> theory is so he can explain it to us. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. Could be your arm, could be your leg, could be your whole body. That is the you law of equivalent exchange. Yeah, something along those lines. You mean like some kind of elimination match? <laughs> Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Doesn't doing that Every voice hurt your throat or anything? Nope. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. Okay. Well, hey. Yep. That's indeed the case. Found my old this also applies. Well, this also applies to the school life we've been subjected to here. In this case, our limited resource is only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to betray and defeat all the others. No fucking shit. That that can't be what they had in mind. The people who put us in a murder simulator. <laughs> This is why adaptation is so crucial. <clears throat> if those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. Are they just leaning on the fourth wall right now? <laughs> but why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. Again, you're, you're, you're kind of fucked up, dude. <laughs> he smiled again as he spoke. It's coming, I swear. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility you may lose, am I right? Am I right or am I right? I... Of, co of course. You do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect the Tagami heir apparent. Heir apparent, if you will. Yeah, it's just normal arrogance, ain't it? You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? I won't. It simply isn't possible. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I Yeah, what the fuck? Holy believe shit! That. Believe what? That an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived even this long. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh, don't give him motive. Like, like I said, I won't die. He won't die even he if he's killed. You keep saying that, but don't bother trying to argue with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges were merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. Mm -hmm. Is that not so, Byakuya? At least one of you read my autobiography. <laughs> it is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. 
Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> it, whoopsies. <laughs> I've just been out douchebagged. <laughs> well, if Let you want to get out douchebagged by anyone, just you ask all, this guy. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, what's the point? That's a terrible way to look at it. Mm. Of course. I'm sorry, did I hear a peasant? <laughs> this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is... I'm sorry, is, friends? It's horrific! Friends? Who decided that? Y yeah, Was I'm... it... Was it Taco? I'll have him executed. <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in a competition. We're enemies. But, you know... I mean, yeah. What? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Poor people should just bend over and listen. <laughs> well, well, uh huh? I, I mean, bow down and listen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you have something to say, then say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. You're sucking up all my air. <laughs> I own the air. L literally, the Tagami Corporation owns the atmosphere. I, I have the paperwork on my person to prove this. <laughs> hey, shithead. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back? You want to try that on me? Mm. I don't wear a shirt. You know I can tussle. <laughs> so you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> when all else fails, fuck Is that you. <laughs> all you can say? Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate but, you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. Fuck you! Mm -mm. That's it. You're fucking dead. Fucking fuck 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 fucking fuck 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 fucking 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 fuck fuck. Everybody just take a massive fuck ton of chill pills, okay? I am super fucking calm. How is this calm? Thank you. Seriously. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is how do I put it? Plebeian. <laughs> well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. It is a plebeian endeavor. <laughs> Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. Also, I detest blue peppers. <gasps> he detests blue peppers! <laughs> Shun the non-believer! <laughs> Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. All I'm saying is that ultimately... You are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, he left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. I mean, I guess we could have jumped him, but I mean, come on now. We're not. We're not that. We're not that way. Hey, was he serious about all that? All that jazz he was spewing, all that spewed jazz. He was, without a doubt. Well, fuck him then. <laughs> But what he said, he might not necessarily be in the wrong. Mondo's I mean, just the I'll most straightforward guy here. Can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? You too? I expected better from you. <laughs> I couldn't say that with a straight <laughs> face. It's not like anyone would even care if I was gone, right? True. Bye. <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. Boy, you're quick on the uptake, aren't you? Well, you haven't showered in the week we've been here, so... You, you just think you don't think that. No, no, I'm pretty sure I think um, that. Bye. You know, I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just, uh, totally out there. You think I don't know, but I do. You won't be gone. Um... Me and my, me and my perfectly round ears. <laughs> And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? I'll be back. I am the victim here! <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Wait, two students alone? There could be kill! <laughs> there could be kill. <laughs> Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Make, make, other make, than, make, make that the other series. Than, other than the question, can you pass the salt, to which the answer was, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> just just make that the fucking motto of the whole series. Jeez. Dang and Rumpa, there could be kill. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I'm so tired. 
Gee, it sure is boring around here. <laughs> My boy. Friggity free time. Yay! Now, I forgot to look up stuff beforehand, so there's going to be a few scenes. Oh, actually, I need to go to the Mono Mono machine first. Oh, are you going to pick up more mineral, more mineral water? <laughs> no, Junko's the only one that likes mineral water. Fuck. Yep, and then when she's gone, I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with these truckloads of mineral water? <laughs> no one else likes this sh Oh, well. It's so terrible. I have to piss constantly. <laughs> Would you like to try your hand against the almighty Mono Mono machine? All right, it did it. Snaggity daggity. All right, so I'm just going to get some items. And I can bribe people to be better friends with me. There's one chill hoodie. So, with more items you get, the higher the chance of a repeat item, obviously. But you can put in more coins to lower the chances of getting a repeat item. Oh, cool. Yep. And the animation for this takes way too fucking long. They speed it up in later games. Sort of. You're just going one at a time here. Yep. Well, it, when, you're, when you're just starting out, then that's what you gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. It isn't until the repeat chance gets higher that I start putting more coins. Yeah. Also, sometimes you get lucky and it gives you a bonus item. That's cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. I mean, you are the ultimate lucky student. It'd be a shame if nothing ever accentuated that. Make it part of the gameplay. Are there Mono Mono machines in later games? Yeah. Well, they're not called that, but there's equivalents. Oh, neat. Blueberry perfume. Hey, I got lucky. Here's a bonus item. Damn. <laughs> You got a game gear. Oh, neat. Good job. You can play all the yeah. bad Sonic games. <laughs> no, seriously. The... You, oh, my. You got hand bra. <laughs> you got hand bra. <laughs> but seriously, all the Sonic games on the game gear suck ass. Yep. Like the Sonic Sonic I 1, Sonic 2, terrible. Sonic Triple Trouble, terrible. Sonic Chaos, terrible. Sonic Blast, super fucking terrible. Sonic, Sonic Labyrinth, that. it's a Sonic game where you go slow. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a Game Gear with Sonic games. I don't remember which ones. Uh, it's probably how bad they were. They all just kind of blend together at some point. I mean, I yeah, guess... But I hate, yeah, but, yeah, but I hate all Sonic games, so it really didn't... I mean, I guess anything. Sonic Chaos is okay, considering it is a Game Gear Sonic game, but, you know, that doesn't make it good. Yeah. Also, I did. So I also, I did not know you didn't like Sonic games. Huh. No, you, you didn't. No. Hey, look, more blueberry perfume. So now the repeat chance getting high, so I put more coins in. A couple. I got a bomb. I got a duck bomb. <laughs> that's not what that is. <laughs> I bet you that's what that is. Oh, reminds me of a Reddit post I saw, where um, this elderly man practices glass blowing. He's like. So I practice glass. I, I, I hop, my hobby is glass blowing, and my grandson sent, says he wants a special vase and sends me a picture of a fucking <laughs> sends me a picture of a fucking bong. Like I don't know what that is. So I send him a glass dildo instead. <laughs> oh, I I remember that actually. Yeah. Like that is some ultimate trolling there. Yep. At some point, you gotta put in a lot of coins to lower the repeat chance. Yeah. Yeah. It gets easier in later games because coins are, more, especially in V3, because coins are, you just get coins for nothing, just coins for days. You clicked on something. Here's a coin. No, literally, that's what it is. Like you have the ob, um, you can slap objects in the world and they fly away and they leave coins behind. Oh, you got cup ramen. Capra. Capra. <laughs> <laughs> Delish, our delicious, delicious, delicious cupra. Though, though our re-ray playthrough is on hiatus, the memes still remain. Cupra shall, sh cupra shall ride eternal. Yeah. Cupra is a good substitute for a expensive Parisian sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so this is me pulling out my phone and being like, okay, who likes what again? <laughs> guide, guide, I forgot the guide. 
Yeah. So this is so... Um, this was super annoying in the original PSP release before... Because, okay, so Danganronpa 2 introduced island mode, which lets you just go around and do free time events willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. um, but, so when they re-released this game, they added school mode, which is basically the same thing. But before that, to do all the free time events, you had to actually replay this game, like, I think, 19 times oh, to get all of them. jeez, that's terrible. Yeah. But, like, oh, God. And that's why, like, a lot of people didn't know a lot of character details, because they didn't do them, because who would? Because it takes a lot of effort. So yeah, school mode makes that way easier. I mean, easier. there's cool. replay value, and then there's forced replay value, and that's a little bit on the forced side. Yeah. It's like, yeah, so, there, there's there's the chance of being able to replay this and have some fun, but at the same time, it's like you're redoing all the same shit you did earlier just for yeah. a couple of extra lines of dialogue, so fucking... Yeah. So yeah, so we'll probably do a run through school mode after we complete the main campaign. Oh, of course, of course. Just so, can, just so we can learn about all the friends we just lost. So, what's up? Uh, after you got, you know, skewered by like a million... Oh god, I wish that was the setup. I wish it was like the afterlife. <laughs> what's just... up? <laughs> How is death? It really hey, hurts! <laughs> hey, hey, sup. Uh, yeah, so I know you're dead, but um, what's your hobbies? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I got the donuts, so we're going to Asahina. And, and you unlock and get, school mode after one playthrough, right? Yes. Right, got it. Certainly does make things a lot easier, yeah. Yeah. And then kind of expand. Like, the whole systems are kind of expanded in later games, too. This was, like, retroactively added in there, like, mm, stuffed turkey. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. And guess where she is? She's by the fucking pool, of course. Boy. Make sure to choose the blue door or you'll get shot the fuck with the Gatling gun. <laughs> of course there's a pinup in here. Of course. Well, yeah, we gotta see some anime titties while we jacking it. <laughs> jacking it and getting jacked. And at first I didn't notice she was there because she's like faded in the... She's like sideways so it looks like she's just a standing shadow. I'm like, where the fuck is she? Is she over here by the locker? <laughs> is she in the locker? <laughs> in the locker. <laughs> nice. Yeah, at least you got a mana coin. Yeah, and then I'm like, where the fuck is she? And I'm like, oh, wait, wait, oh, shit. <laughs> How was I supposed to see her? She... <sighs> Fucking angles. The opposite of possible is an impossible. It's challenge. Do the impossible. See the invisible. That's a quote from the famous baseball player, Jackie Robinson. I'm sure I made a reference to a different baseball player originally, but let's just say it's Jackie Robinson. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Anyway... Wanna go for a Yay. walk? I don't care where to. Let's stay in the same location. Spend time with Bast Girl. Yay. Although no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. Unfortunately. Hey, at least we have a pool. But hey, it, yeah, we got a pool. That's cool. That's cool. It's we a cool pool. This. Cool pool carpool. And I, I think sometimes I could have gotten a much funnier co-host, but uh, Oh fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> The hell, dude. <laughs> anyway, she likes the, she likes the donuts. A donut that doubles as a flotation device. Wait. Combining her two favorite things: donuts and water. <laughs> Yay! Ultra stoked. Oh, she's cute. I am. Ah, oh, fuck! Can't scream that. That shit. Oh man! Oh man! What's up? I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? How come doesn't matter? Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. <laughs> Let's have a race. I don't mind a solo run. Well, fine. I guess I'll just stand here. Jeez. There is actually... Hold on. There's, a, there's an episode of the original Transformers series where uh, I believe Megatron disguises himself as Optimus Prime and, and fucking Ironhide in his infinite wisdom says the only way they can find out who the real Optimus is is with a race. <laughs> you should know this one guy. He was all like, Asahina, you're a super spaz. Super spaz. I bet that was a completely different term originally. <laughs> yeah, he'd like see me wearing shorts in the winter and he'd say stuff like that. And I'm like, um, shorts in the winter is the shit. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. <laughs> Doing the world trigger duck face, I see. <laughs> wow, you did stuff like that, huh? <laughs> Getting sick is for the weak. If you're dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. 
It's all part of your training. Training. Training, huh? Do you think she's swole under there? <laughs> so, are you the type that gets sickies? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah. Ignore me. <laughs> See? You're soft. You need more training. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy for someone to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Is it swimming? Because, I mean... What kind of remedy? Oh, boy! Actually, I do my, this myself every <laughs> time. <laughs> you just strip down to your waist, take a dry towel, and start rubbing down your bare skin. Oh my. I, I call it, uh. What do I call it again? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll remind you of the thing I couldn't possibly know. Hmm. Yoga. <laughs> I bet it's that one. Is it something like towel treatment? Yeah, that's a good word for it, sure. <laughs> What's it called? Going out of Bamboo. What was that one? <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, so you went out on your balcony and stripped down? Oh my. And you were okay with that? I like Should this give girl. Give it a try. <laughs> you haven't got your health. You haven't got anything. But, but you have, but you have the boobers. The people could see. <laughs> I am man. Anyway. I know half the boobers. Anyway. Report card. Eh, we're coming up on the end of this episode very soon. Yep. Increase my maximum number of skill points. And don't worry, for the next episode, you'll actually hear game audio again. Yay! Huzzah! After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. <laughs> okay. Well. Well. Eh. Still plenty of time left. Let's do more free time next time. Yeah. See ya. See ya. I mean, a few seconds after I save the game and the world.